morning guys today is sunday welcome back to the new episode installing the new winch the andersen sd40 on helos i'm going to armare the official importer of andersen in italy where i will buy the winch so you will follow me and we are going to the factory to collect them that just arrived from Denmark so very happy to show you in a moment the winch and the installation of those fantastic new piece of stuff so quite happy and there are a lot to do because I find many things that I can upgrade on the boat after using her and for sure this permit me to get a better better feeling when I use the board and I'm solve some problem that normally happen when you have a new boat so I will show you in the next videos but for today the first video will be installing the new winch we go and yes those are the new winch I will unbox it now with you and those are the original winch I decided to to replace my original winch you can see they are brand new completely re -chrome and fix everything inside replace everything I need to change because I don't like when you have the winch to use the cleats here because it's dangerous for the finger and when you are saving single light it's not easy so for sure I will take out those winch if you want, I can solve those winch, both. If you are interested, drop a message. After that, I will install the Anderson one. I changed with Anderson because there are some very interesting features that I like in the Anderson one. So now we will unbox them. Ta-da! Wow! I like those winch made from Anderson, I already used them and they are quite amazing and quite rare stuff. Brand new. Oh, this is the product manual of the winch. This is something, okay, this is the key for fix the self tailing. And ta da! The perfect winch. perfectly well I like to get these uh, ribs here so the, the line grip very well and there is not like this one that could with the time could you ruin your sheet but in any case this is fantastic and also I bought the new handle made by Ronstan this one I show you this is the new Ronstan level that work perfectly on the winch. Beautiful. All this stainless steel I like a lot. And also I can check here. You can use two hand to use the winch. I have many of this one because the original one that was here with the winch I lost in the sea last week was very heavy and also make a, a bump in the tick there because fall down. So I have four type of handles. I have the Ronstan one with a quick release. I have the Titan one, usually using this lever to release. And also I have both the aluminum one made by Antal. Uh, they are always probably very good uh, stuff and very tough as Antal made because Antal made a very thing, very good things. Now it's time to install the winch, take out those original one and start with epoxy and everything. Okay, we start. And yes, finally me Andrea 
can reach the shipyard. We start from our house and we went to the shipyard ready to disassemble the old winch installed and prepare everything for the new winch. Andrea know very well the boat as me because many time come at power plant and we make a lot of work together and now it's time to uh, take out the old Lumar winch. First of things take out the box because without the box we can reach the bolts just below the winch where we can um, use some keys and take out all the nuts just below. So I use the wrench and Andrea used the key Allen and we start to take out. It was quite difficult because all the old bolts was full of butyl, you can see here. There is a lot of butyl that I use to avoid the water penetrating in the substrate, in the tick, in the fiberglass. With the help of a small blade, we take out the excess of butyl. After that, immediately we move to take out the second winch on the port side. We need to use the um, drill because the bolt was very full of butyl and you can see here Andrea is take out the excess of butyl. I think the butyl is fantastic for this type of work. No any other products could work well like a butyl. But you need to follow the exact uh, instruction to get the perfect result. And now for the second time the wind go out from the box. I bought some different length of bolts to fit perfectly the winch. Normally this winch use five, six millimeter bolts. Another thing very important is read the instruction and especially read how to install them. You need to install them in the correct position so the winch work very well. Important things is also where to mount the self-tailing arms. Also in this case you have a very good explanation in the instruction. So now it's time to understand which is the best position. We need to understand the mechanism of the winch and we need to put this mechanism 90 degrees to the sheet of the Genoa. The first thing Andrea do is center the base of the winch just in the middle of the tick base. And after that we check the correct entrance of the Genoa sheet respect to the mechanism of the winch. Only in this way the winch work in the correct way. When we found the correct position is time to sign the holes. But before do that one, we won't be sure that all is perfect. Also, we check the correct position of the self-tailing arms. If you read the instruction, they explain where to put the self-tailing arms, as the red arrows explain in the figure. power of the, the sheet, so the sheet entered perfectly, 90 degrees, yes, this is, and now we start to, to drill, and is 90% installed, we need to put some sealant just in the holes, and job done, 90% we finish all the works. Alvarazzi make a very strong boat. We make a lot of difficult to drill the new holes. And as you can see it's very thick 
part of the board. We countersink the new ores, because in the countersink the beauty will make a perfect gasket. And now it's time to check the bolts, if it fit well, and we check everything, and yes, it's correct. Perfect. Last test before go to the other side. Yeah. Yes, work well. Oh, no. Bueno, 